Hello YouTube, this is Gunsnipe here, and today I'm going to show you the actual starship that goes by the name. As you see, this is the USS Gunsnipe. Okay, registry number NCC033795. She's a mega slipstream class vessel. I've done this on a uh, SketchUp version 8. She has a crew of three and the optional passenger capacity of seven. She's about 20 somewhat feet long. She has a top cruising speed of 14 billion millimeters per second. And she has a top quantum matrix velocity of 14,000, which is 14 trillion nanometers per second. She has six engines, three for impulse, and the other three for the quantum matrix drive. She also has these two quantum boosters, which in case of emergencies, if one of the quantum main quantum engines go out, these two can take over. Each one has half the power of one quantum engine. So if one goes out, these two are automatically activated. Gun snipe has has two 80 inch McBuster Arc 2 sniper cannons on the port and starboard side. She has two transphasic two, uh, missile launchers. She holds 140, a total of 140 transphasic missiles. 70 can fit right here, 70 more can fit right there. Now, she's, other than her quantum matrix drive, she, gun snipe is completely solar power. By that, her, all her critical systems, all her, her shield harmonics, her shield power, arm, armor, power, armor technology, life support, all everything that's critical to this ship is practically powered by, by solar energy. Now, as we go inside, here's the pilot station, the pilot seat. Here's the throttle. These two red buttons. This one right here is for the Solar Photonic Cannon RX-3, which is Gun Snipe's most devastated weapon. And this button right here turns on and off, locks and unlocks the weapons. And these two blue buttons practically turn the ship on and off. Oops. Now, on the steer steering uh, column, this red black screen right here is for communication and this blue button right here turn activates the hailing frequencies these two silver buttons right here extend and retract the pylons for whenever she's about to take off or whenever she's landing and of course the two red top red buttons on the on the sticks right here are for our guns fair enough all right this display panel is the power allocation display Shows off where the power is, where most of the power is being allocated to. This display right here is for the quantum workflow, quantum matrix drive for the flow for the uh, nacelles outside. Here's your elevation panel or display. This is the quantum matrix temperature gauge, altimeter, RX3 temperature gauge, and it can also be a temperature gauge or a pressure gauge, and this is a uh, pressure gauge for dual pressure gauge for the engines, the main engines. Now, let me back this up a bit. Now, right here, we have the chief engineer and navigational station. Basically, that's the dual dual position right here. The, uh, the navigational navigator's duty is to watch out for anyone who's coming by using the uh, sensor di sen sensor com uh, display and her her secondary duty is to make sure the ship runs properly make sure all the all the critical systems are in check and all that stuff back here is the chief tactical officer and science science uh station 
Gunsnap can also be used as a science vessel and has and attack and it's like, like the like this station the officer in charge has to know the tactical maneuvers and all that stuff now we back it up back here here's the seven seats for passenger trap for passengers these seats are retractable collapse they're collapsible they collapse on themselves and then they retract into the floor kind of like a one kind of like one of the uh, minivans around and now back here here's the quantum matrix drive similar to a quantum warp, uh, a standard warp core but it's a, it's a quantum matrix drive right here is where the quantum matrix drive will be ejected and if the core is about to, about, it's about to explode no matter what happens the automatic um, the ejection system is completely automatic so no commands are at, uh, issued the computer determines if the core is about to breach or not. When that happens, the core is wrong. the core ejects from the engine. Uh, from the engine core comes up right here, and then it, it is ejected. This is the engineering sec. Engineer here's the engine room. Here's your main engine right here. Three spots for each uh, outflow. And these are. Our these are like otherness, like little meaningless cells, but these are stabilizers for the quantum travel. So gun snipes, uh, girth. No way. Just three of these. Now, stay tuned. Oh wait, it's also it's also mentioned to note that gun snipe is a biomechanical vessel. That being said, that three fourths of her self is pure. Uh, biological or organic and the rest is mechanical she has regenerative property property so after a battle she can regenerate her wounds and an, uh, a for an unexpected side effect because of this bio system is that she can reproduce it was an unforeseen but yet beneficial uh, si uh, effect that gun snipe can have children, which again was an unforeseen effect to gun snipe's uh, construction, but yet beneficial because gun snipe can have kids or children. So, uh, this is gun, here's gun snipe again, and stay tuned for the continuation of gun snipe, also known as gun snipe A.